The Eastern Front, A Clash of Titans, written by Neil Oliver, World War II, a global conflict of unprecedented scale and brutality. It was a war that engulfed nations, drawing in millions of soldiers and civilians alike, altering the course of history forever. While many battles raged across the globe, the Eastern Front stood out as a theater of unparalleled ferocity and strategic importance. It was here that the true scale of the conflict was most evident, with vast armies clashing in a brutal struggle for dominance. Here, the vast armies of Nazi Germany clashed with the determined forces of the Soviet Union. The sheer size and scope of the battles fought on this front were staggering, with millions of soldiers engaged in a relentless and bloody conflict. The fate of millions, and indeed the outcome of the war, hung precariously in the balance. Every battle, every skirmish, had the potential to tip the scales in favor of one side or the other, making each moment of the conflict critical. This was a battle for survival, a clash of ideologies, a struggle for the very soul of Europe. The stakes were incredibly high, with both sides fighting not just for territory, but for their very existence and way of life. At stake were not just vast territories, but also vital resources. Control of these resources could mean the difference between victory and defeat, making them a key objective for both sides. The Germans, hungry for oil and resources to fuel their war machine, set their sights on the Caucasus region. This area was rich in the oil that was desperately needed to keep their tanks and planes operational. Standing in their way was the city of Rostov-on-Don, a strategic prize controlling access to the oil-rich south. The city's location made it a critical target for the German advance. Rostov would become a battleground, a place where the ambitions of empires collided amidst the chaos and carnage of war. The fighting here was intense and brutal, with both sides suffering heavy casualties in their bid to control the city. The outcome of the battle for Rostov would have far-reaching consequences, influencing the direction of the war on the Eastern Front and beyond. Rostov, 1941. The Germans advance. The summer of 1941 saw the Wehrmacht, the German army, surge eastward with terrifying speed and power. The German forces, well-trained and heavily armed, moved with a precision that left their enemies in awe and fear. Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union, had begun. This was the largest military operation in history in terms of manpower and casualties. Hitler's armies, confident after their swift victories in Poland and France, believed in a swift victory. They had crushed their previous opponents with a combination of blitzkrieg tactics and overwhelming force. They aimed to crush the Soviet Union before the harsh Russian winter could cripple their advance. The German high command knew that time was of the essence, and every day counted. The Soviets, caught off guard by the sheer scale and ferocity of the attack, reeled under the onslaught. The initial shock and awe of the German advance left Soviet defenses in disarray. Their forces, though vast, were ill-prepared for the sophisticated tactics and superior weaponry of the enemy. The Soviet military infrastructure was not ready for such a massive and coordinated assault. Cities fell, armies were encircled, and casualties mounted at an alarming rate. The Germans seemed unstoppable. The rapid advance saw key cities and strategic points fall into German hands, further demoralizing the Soviet troops and complicating their defensive efforts. The First Battle of Rostov A Desperate Struggle By November 1941, Rostov lay within reach of the German spearheads. The city, a vital transportation hub and gateway to the Caucasus, became a key objective. Its capture would be a major blow to the Soviets, both strategically and psychologically. The Red Army, though battered and bruised, was determined to hold the city. They dug in, preparing to meet the German onslaught. The stage was set for a desperate struggle, a clash of wills that would have far-reaching consequences. Retreat from Rostov. A turning point? The fighting for Rostov was brutal and unforgiving, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. 
The Germans, spearheaded by the formidable Panzer divisions, attacked with their usual ferocity and precision. The Soviets, despite being outgunned and outnumbered in many sectors, fought with incredible tenacity and courage. However, the relentless German onslaught proved too powerful to withstand. After days of intense fighting, the Germans captured Rostov on November 21st. It was a significant victory, but their triumph was short-lived and bittersweet. The Soviets, refusing to admit defeat, launched a fierce and determined counterattack. The Calm Before the Storm 1942 on the Eastern Front. The winter of 1941-42 brought a bitter halt to the German advance. The Wehrmacht, ill-equipped for the brutal Russian winter, suffered terribly from the cold and relentless Soviet counterattacks. The capture of Rostov, initially hailed as a major victory, turned out to be a Pyrrhic one. Forced to retreat from Rostov, the Germans dug in, preparing for the inevitable Soviet counteroffensive. Both sides licked their wounds and regrouped, knowing that the coming spring would bring a renewed struggle, even more brutal and decisive than before. Operation Blue, Hitler's Gamble. In the summer of 1942, the Germans launched a new offensive in the East, codenamed Operation Blue. Their objective was ambitious, to capture the Caucasus oil fields vital to the Soviet war effort. Rostov once again lay directly in their path. Its capture was crucial for the success of the German plan. Hitler believed that capturing the Caucasus would cripple the Soviet Union, forcing them to sue for peace. It was a risky gamble, one that would have disastrous consequences for the Wehrmacht. Rostov, 1942, back into the crucible. The Second Battle of Rostov began in July 1942. The Germans, spearheaded by their armored divisions, once again aimed to capture the city and secure their southern flank for the drive towards the Caucasus. The Red Army, bolstered by reinforcements and determined to avenge their earlier defeat, resisted fiercely. Rostov, transformed into a fortress, became the focal point of a titanic struggle. The city would be reduced to rubble, but its defenders would fight with extraordinary courage and tenacity. Liberation and its aftermath. The tide turns. After weeks of intense fighting, the Germans captured Rostov for the second time on July 24, 1942. However, their victory proved to be short-lived. The Soviets, refusing to give up, launched a massive counter-offensive. On February 14, 1943, after months of grueling fighting, the Red Army liberated Rostov. The city, battered and scarred, became a symbol of Soviet resilience and the turning point of the war in the East. Never again would the Germans advance so far. Rostov's legacy, a symbol of resilience. The battles for Rostov hold a significant place in the history of World War II. They were battles of immense scale and ferocity, fought with relentless determination by both sides. Though the city changed hands twice, its capture and recapture had profound strategic implications. Rostov stands as a testament to the human cost of war and the courage of those who fought and died in its ruins. The city's sacrifice played a pivotal role in stemming the German advance and ultimately contributed to the Allied victory. Conclusion The Importance of Rostov The battles of Rostov were not just about the capture of a strategically important city. They were pivotal moments in the larger context of World War II, where the fate of nations and the future of Europe hung in the balance. These battles were microcosms of the titanic struggle on the Eastern Front, a clash of ideologies and ambitions that would shape the course of the 20th century. The fierce confrontations in Rostov highlighted the intense determination of both sides, each fighting for their vision of the future. The battles of Rostov remind us of the human cost of war and the importance of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. The soldiers' bravery and the civilians' endurance during these harrowing times are testaments to the indomitable human spirit. They serve as a stark reminder that victory is often achieved at a terrible price. 
and that the true cost of war is measured not just in casualties, but in the enduring scars left on both the land and the human soul. The ruins of Rostov stand as silent witnesses to the devastation, urging us to remember the lessons of history and the profound impact of conflict on humanity.